Hey everybody, Haku here with the second half of Chainsaw Man Volume 17. We have chapters 149, 150, 151, 152, and 153. Once we're finished with Volume 17, we're gonna be like we're we're kind of close to catching up. We're like 20-ish chapters away. So starting next volume, I'll maybe do four chapters a video, and then maybe after that we'll go down to three chapters a video, because we're getting fairly close to catching up, and it's like once we're caught up, I don't know what I'm going to do with Chainsaw Man. I don't know if I'm going to drop it for a little while and let chapters build up. I don't know if I'm going to do a video every couple of weeks, because it just feels like doing a video every single week. I don't really know if it's worth it, because as much as I really love Chainsaw Man, as much as I really enjoy it, it isn't, even though, like, the views it gets might be to the level of some of the other things I've, I'm have i covering on the channel, or even more than some other things I'm covering on the channel, like probably ten times as much as Marriage Toxin, to me, as much as I love and enjoy it, I don't think it's on the level of some of those other things on the channel, and also... It's like the chapters aren't very long. Like, I usually take a long time to read things. I discuss things a lot. I kind of overextend the amount of time I spend reading things at times. And even then, Chainsaw Man chapters take like three to five minutes a lot of the time. So, doing things on a week to week basic or week to week basis, um, you know, it's it's not, I don't know if it's really long enough to justify it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to start slowing down a little bit. Instead of doing five chapters at a time after this video, I'll do four at a time for a bit, then three at a time for a bit until, you know, we're caught up. And then I'm like, oh, well, what do we do? What do we do now? We'll figure it out when we get there, I guess. So, yeah, with that aside, let's start reading this chapter. We have chapter 149. Devil's Choice. I foretold this. I warned you that mankind and the devils would go to war. This disaster's divine retribution for ignoring the prophecy. Join me in obeying the voice of God, and together we'll burn the Chainsaw Man army to ashes. Burn Chainsaw Man. Burn Chainsaw Man, and they're all chanting. Who boy. While we've been running, the outbreak escalated into something out of an apocalypse movie. Hey, this is an emergency, right? If push comes to shove, I'll bust out the chainsaws. Don't be ridiculous. This is the worst time to turn into Chainsaw Man. If those people see you transform, they'll burn you to a crisp. Don't worry. I'll protect you, too. We don't need your protection. I'm stronger than you. I'll kill anything that attacks us. And if humans attack us, could you kill them, too? No, duh. Humans are weak sauce compared to devils. What have you been teaching her? Whatever's on educational TV, he says. I'm worried about the apartment, he realizes. The pets are hungry. We gotta go home. Come on, we obviously can't do that. I guarantee you those church freaks have staked out your apartment. The pets are totally waiting to be fed. Let's hurry. I can't let you go home. We'll shelter you two at a public safety facility. And she shoots one of her chains, Nayata that is. But it's avoided. It goes through a person in the window behind her who then grabs on. Take this! Tickle attack! And <laughs> Denji stops her. Ugh. Run, Fumiko. We can manage on our own. If you stick around, she'll kill you for real. It seems like Denji's doing a terrible job here with Nayata. It feels like the whole purpose of leaving her with him has not worked out whatsoever. Like at all. She runs off. Okay, let's head home now. Nayata, you really tried to kill her just now, didn't you? It's fine for devils to kill living things of any kind. Fish swim, trees photosynthesize, it's the same thing. You must instinctually feel it too. Hurting people makes you feel alive, doesn't it? And then, just looks at her. Denji, want to join the devil's side with me? You can't be serious. I gave it a lot of thought before I fell asleep. Human culture's fun and all, but isn't it suffocating? If we ruled over people as devils, we could pick out on our favorite foods whenever we want. We could own cats of every breed, or even a hundred dogs. But what about my... what about your friends at school? Honestly, who cares if they die? You don't care either, right? I'm all you need. And we're seeing the control coming in? You just remembered Asamitaka, didn't you? Why is that loser er, important to you? 
You risked your life to protect her the other day, too. I don't get it. Because we kissed. That's it? I've kissed a bunch of times up till now, and it always went horribly wrong. That kiss with Asa was the one time I didn't get hurt. Do you like her? This much, and he holds his hands out. What about me? He holds them out wider. She runs and hugs him. Fine, I won't kill humans. Now I'll hurry home, mush. I don't know. I feel like people are going to get really mad if I just sit and say that the story's not good. But some of this stuff here just feels like very quick, a bit nonsensical, like really rushed. And yeah, it, it's, a, it's just a little sloppy. It just feels like I was loving part two. I saw people criticizing part two, people saying they didn't like part two. But up until we cut away from focusing on Asa as the main character, I was like personally with the kind of deep good character stuff we're getting i preferred some bits of part two to part one some aspects of it i thought were even better but then it's like it's like we had this hard cut where we just skipped a bunch of things to the future where asa's famous and now we're focusing on denji and not asa anymore and ever since then it has been kind of a train wreck like narratively like the story aspect of chainsaw man like, I just have no idea what the mangaka is doing with the story at this point. It's like all over the place and not in like a good, exciting, we're juggling a lot of really cool different subplots kind of way, but all over the place in that we're juggling zero subplots kind of way. We're constantly having characters like, ah, I changed my mind on this or ah, I didn't really mean this or their actions not lining up with their words or and again, Characters' actions not lining up with the words can be played really, really well in writing, where it's like what they're doing and what they think they're doing are two different things. But this is just like sloppy, <laughs> a sloppy version of that. And just, I don't know, it just feels like such a such a mess these past like 10, 15 chapters. But, you know... Uh, I'm probably going to kill the watch time on this video by saying this, but uh, uh, yeah, let's let's continue to read four more chapters. On to chapter 150, Dream's Next Stage. He's walking through the alleyway. And again, it would be nice. It's like what Denji wanted was a normal life, and he was kind of stuck at this place after part one where it's like, okay, do you do you try to live a normal life? Or do you be Chainsaw Man? Do you want more? Do you want fame? Do you want girls to love you? And then he was presented with this kind of thing here again, like right as we were transitioning into this like jump to what we have now, where he's presented with, do you want to live a normal life or whatever? Or do you want to transform into Chainsaw Man? And this could be really well written if, say, the church was what i was thinking they were going to be at first and this isn't just me trying to be like oh i could write it better because like odds are maybe i couldn't but it's like if the church was say like actively taking out devils themselves so that he wouldn't have to transform or say the government the public safety was doing that then it's like the only thing really tempting him would be his own greed, his own, not even greed, but just wanting more, having aspirations. And it would be like, do you chase those and sacrifice what you have, or do you try to learn to be happy with what you have, even if it's not perfect? And that's kind of partially what they were going for, or at least what they're telling us. But then we see in action, it's like they're constantly testing Denji, but not testing him in a way where it's like, don't you want to, don't you like want to do this? But it's almost like they're trying to force his hand. And so if it's like, if he did become Chainsaw Man because they forced his hand, it's like, well, he didn't become it because he was being selfish or chasing aspirations or whatever. It's just because he was made to. So it's like... I don't know, it's just handled really sloppy. And another part of it that's handled sloppy is the world is constantly just falling apart into absolute chaos. We're having more and more devils just of an apocalyptic level and things just falling apart in a way that isn't always really logically sound and things escalating quickly in a way that isn't always logically sound. And it's like, 
because of that, you're being like, oh, do you want to live a normal life? You can't turn into Chainsaw Man or we're going to take your normal life away. But it's like, it, the way the world of Chainsaw Man is right now, I don't feel like anyone can live a normal life. I don't think a normal life is just like a real thing in Chainsaw Man. Like when devils just show up and kill a bunch of people every day, essentially, you don't really, like nobody in the world of Chainsaw Man really lives a normal life. A good chunk of the population ends up orphaned. It's So it's like the choice between City Mouse and Country Mouse, the choice that Denji has been struggling with and these other characters have been struggling with throughout the series means less and less when you make the world more and more like, oh, you can't have a normal life anyway. It, it's a crazy world where a lot of things are dangerous anyway. So again, it just takes the weight of that decision away. And then there are people going to work despite the disaster. It's a surprising or surprisingly ordinary day. I might have school tomorrow, too. And again, he's horrified by the people going into quote-unquote normal lives while they're just bodies being piled in trucks and rubble everywhere. Which, again, isn't a bad story to tell either, with, again, Denji's reaction to all this, but it doesn't fit well with what we've been telling. And then we see him going about his, again, quote-unquote normal life, Oh yeah, gotta give er, him thinking about it, I guess, at least. Gotta get back to the apartment, back to my ordinary life. The living, er, I'm living the life I've, I'd always dreamed of. I don't need to be Chainsaw Man anymore. You hear that, Pochta? Because I'm super happy right now. And now we have him step on a bird. Again, birds being really important to this stuff. And him stepping on the bird... The birds and stepping over like the chickens and whatever were were used to represent like hard decisions that Asa was having to make. So him thinking, you know, I don't need to be Chainsaw Man and then stepping on it. I'm wondering if that's also meant to be representative of the hard decisions that he's making here. He looks back and sees it as Pochita. And he's his child self. Our dream came true. I know, right? Okay, Denji. What will you dream of next? Next? Do you want a lot of girlfriends? Or maybe money? And again, it feels like if we ended things with part one, where, you know, maybe the series could have ended with part one, where it's like, you know, he and Pochta, the whole dream thing, really came together toward the end of that. But now it's almost like Pochta is a devil tempting him, which is kind of a more generic and less interesting way to go, where he's like, oh, you dreamed of a normal life? Now do you want more? Next, I... I want to be the Chainsaw Man. And we see the apartments burning, and Nayata screaming. Ah, and it looks like Barham is up front. The pets. Denji? And he rushes forward. But he gets tripped by Barham. If you're gonna burn someone, it's gotta be family. I figured killing Asumitaka wouldn't fire you up that much. You barely know her after all. Plus, cats and dogs seem more flammable, you know? And he gets immediately attacked. He's shot down by public safety. Aim for his head and hands. His transformation triggers a molar. And they're all firing, but then Whip comes in and starts tearing through some of them. And that's where we end there. So with him talking to Pochta like that, I wonder if he's going to go back into mindless Chainsaw Man form, or if we're going to have some sort of union between the mind of Denji and Chainsaw Man. But I don't know. And then... You know, maybe they got his animals out and they were safe because of public safety monitoring everything. I could see the series doing that being like, okay, we don't want to go to that dark. We don't want to kill Meowie and everything. So we're just going to... 
It is interesting, though, that Whip is, like, slicing through all these others, but was closest to Fumiko, but Fumiko just kind of gets knocked away instead of sliced apart. Um, but I don't know. I think, again, if the story was better at this moment, I think Barum has been a really good villain in concept. This would be a really good moment. But I just, I feel like we've missed the build to all of this. The build just hasn't been here for this to be, like, satisfying as a big, horrible villain moment like some things were before in the past. I don't know. It just feels like this should be really, really massive. And I, in concept, I think the idea is awesome. Like, Denji going home being like, okay... I want to be Chainsaw Man, but I've decided to go back to my normal life and then having that normal life up in flames by somebody trying to make him into Chainsaw Man. And I believe, I think it was Pate as well, who I was talking with on Discord, who was like, you know, the plan isn't super logical either. If you're trying to make people super scared of Chainsaw and scared of war, people are scared because they would be killed buy the chainsaw or war or die in a war they would be scared of dying so for as much proportionally as you make chainsaw man stronger or war stronger from being from being more feared you would be making death like twice as strong as you're making each of them individually right so the whole plan just i don't know it just feels like the cool moments are here when it comes to like these cinematic like visual shots but when it comes to the actual writing to get us there and to tell a story with it it just feels like it it wasn't like chainsaw man wasn't the most incredible story ever but it was still it had the story there before for like a long time for what over a hundred chapters it had the story it was doing a solid job with it and it's like we cut all of a sudden and i i just feel like things are a mess right now the next one is chapter 151 the return of chainsaw man so i guess we maybe are once again like a rerun of part one having uh the weapons bring out chainsaw man or face off with chainsaw man but we're seeing fumika hit the ground or fumiko hit the ground we have a bunch of injured public safety members Barum is down and then Fumiko gets grabbed Fumiko and it's uh, Miri Miri and um, the spear but you guys were I guess even the great public safety is in a state of chaos right now because the idiots let us escape you monsters don't misunderstand Denji Yes, we set your home on fire, but it's because it's the only key to saving the world. Huh? Say what? Every part of our Rampage of Terror is connected to stopping Nostradamus' prophecy. Are you insane? And again, it almost feels like where Denji was this complete... Like, earlier in the series, before we made this jump, Denji was kind of the weird character in a world that, though there were... It was an anime world. It was like, it was normal, but except for the one crazy thing, which is devils. But now it just feels like Denji is the sane one. Now it just feels like everyone is just constantly just jumping to the craziest stuff. And Denji is like, Denji's the one that is lost to how these people are making their decisions. Are you angry? Then unleash that anger. Doing so will save the world, dude. Yeah, ha, ha. he seriously believes that crap. Ha, huh, that hurts, says Barum. You piece of crap. And Nayata fires a chain into his head. Drop dead right now. Bite your tongue off and die. And he walks towards it, seemingly resisting her, or walks towards her, seemingly resisting it. Nayuta. He grabs her by the throat. And again, I really feel like public safety, the whole you not transforming thing was based on, you know, trying to have Chainsaw Man take a back seat because of things going crazy with the Chainsaw Man church. And, you know, they could handle it. You just need to live a normal life and really need to 
take care of Nayuta. But with things already, it seems like the whole reason for not transforming is kind of gone in the moment. Because again, again, the temptation would be, okay, we don't need you to be Chainsaw Man, but you want to be Chainsaw Man. But instead of writing it that way, it's like, literally, there's no hard decision for him here. Like, oh, I should... I should do what I need to do for Nayuta and to have a normal life instead of doing what I want to do and becoming Chainsaw Man. It's like instead the story pushes Denji to a point where it's like there's no reason to not transform at this point. Like even public safety should be like, yeah, we can forgive you transforming at this point because people's lives were at stake. Your your pets were killed. Your only current family is being killed in front of you like it only makes sense for you to transform right now like there would no, be no reason for public safety to be particularly upset at him transforming here and it's not a case of denji wanting to versus needing like wanting to versus you know he shouldn't no he's in a situation where he, situation where he kind of needs to so it's like the whole thing they were going on, like going for with his character for like so much of the series and so much of part two up until even recently is just kind of being thrown out the window with how crap this Chainsaw Man church is being written. Move and she dies. Looks like you can't take control of us. Is that because my body's still under Miss Makima's rule or because my heart belongs to Riva now? If Miss Makima were alive and she could use Chainsaw Man's power... She could have defeated the Death Devil. A controlled, peaceful world was supposed to arrive. But you, Chainsaw Man, even though you destroyed our promise of peace, you've been lapping up the peace public safety provided to you. These flames are your punishment. She fires a chain through the head of one of the public safety guys, who then shoots Barum to let go of Nyata. Denji! And he looks at the public safety members, and then at Fumiko, Miri, and the spear. He grabs onto his chest. Sees Pochta at the flames waving. We see young Denji. He waves and then pulls the ripcord. Denji? Why are you laughing? He transforms. And we end there with the image like a burning cross by him. Again, it's like we have these cool cinematic shots, like this whole speech that Barham gave. Sh like if the writing had led us here in a really good way, and if this was really connected to Denji's character well, then it's like that speech would have been really, really good. And a lot of these shots, a lot of these visuals would be really good. It's like they have the the facade, the outer shell of what Chainsaw Man was in part one and early part two, but the like actual meat of it, the actual story, the actual spirit of it is not there. It's like visually it's Chainsaw Man, but writing wise, it's, I don't know what's going on. And this is my most negative read through yet, but it seems like just every time I read a new part of this arc, it just keeps getting worse and it's not like i haven't been through this kind of thing before i read i read i read the promised neverland the promised neverland fell off hard i read one piece through most of wano wano was ass i you know i was a naruto fan i was a bleach fan i'm used to long running shonen falling apart at some stage but this is like a really steep decline like extremely steep right now i feel like Either way, though, we're still going on to 152. 152, massage, and we just start with Denji as basically a frontispiece, really. It's another Chainsaw Man wannabe. People start running. Yeah, in my neighborhood. Yeah, come quick. And then again, if all of this is basically happening in the course of an afternoon, essentially, it's like all of this whole Chainsaw Man and the way people have thought about it and the Chainsaw Man wannabes, all of this stuff is like, if this was spread over the course of like a couple of weeks or something, it might make more sense, maybe. But this stuff has just been happening within the course of what feels like two hours, basically. So, Spear throws down Fumiko. And then spear and sword start transforming. The chainsaws are a bad idea right now. Let's run for it. Nayata, 
Get out of my way. I'm the worst, aren't I, Pochta? They burned down my home with my pets inside it and I... I feel like a million bucks. Thanks to you guys, I get to be Chainsaw Man. Then, sword and whip charge him. And it seems like he's able to parry and get a knee to the chin. Spear then comes in from behind and is able to pierce through him. Come on, Chainsaw Man. You can do better than that. Give us a real scare. Then we see the blade flying back and he seemingly cuts through himself to cut through spear. Youch! What the? And then is he going? Okay, no, he's cutting through his head. I thought he was going to crawl to him and start eating him. But then again, even if he does, I guess the weapons can't be killed forever from that. Sp spit him out. Okay, it does look like he's starting to eat, and then Whip tries to attack. But he manages to cut her foot off, and then grabs her as well. Oh, are you saying I ought to cook my food first? The art is a little uh, tough to follow for some of these. Uh, Sugo, Sugo, help me. Ah, uh, 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 and then Miri runs in, and he's getting parried. And then they both stab through each other and spit out blood. Denji, the thing about massages is too much force and they hurt, but there's this sweet spot where the pain turns into pleasure. What's that have to do with anything? Let's get out of here already. You know, Nayuta. Maybe you shouldn't be around me anymore. Because for me, this is where it hurts just right. And damn do I feel good. He starts laughing. I'm 13 and this is deep. Like, oof, that is the, the cringe type of edge. Not an awful chapter. Mostly fighting. But uh, yeah, that is the cringe type of edge. Oof. May I have front row tickets to Joker, please? Okay, well, well, let's, we got one more, let's read 153. Chapter 153 is Chainsaw Man Hunters. Now we have the bodies sort of strewn about the ground. Say what? It's already over. Hey, did you guys see that? I beat all the big bad devils. The people look scared. Damn, that hurts. Ouch. He starts bleeding and falls over. You don't want to be with me, says Nayata. And people start running over with spears. And again, they, they just have all these spears now. Attention citizens, there's a mass chainsaw head devil outbreak. Please evacuate the area and take shelter indoors. Huh? Can I evacuate too? Hey, he's talking. I hear some of them can talk. And again, this has been like happening within such a short amount of time. Hey, what's the big idea? That chainsaw man's safe. He's not our enemy. Oh, er, he was fighting other devils. Eating them too, but, um, whether he's friend or foe, I can't say. For real, I'm on team human, dudes. And then he gets stabbed. Yeah, Your friends ate my grandpa, you bastard. Ow, hey, that hurts. Light him up. And then fire, light the fire. They start pouring gas. Hey, you piece of crap, cut that out. Lighter, lighter, somebody bring a lighter. Stop it, that's the real Chainsaw Man. All the more reason to kill him. My wife might turn human again. How, what are you talking about? A chainsaw sprouted from my wife's head. She's turned into a devil. Killing Chainsaw Man could get rid of the chainsaws on everyone's heads. There's no way that'd work. Get off me, brat. He swats her away. Nayuta. And again, she's so quick to kill not regular humans, and I know she's not supposed to kill humans, but she was about to do it for like a much simpler reason, and yet isn't doing so against these guys who were threatening to kill Denji. And then Denji cuts through, just barely grazing his arm. See, he attacked a human, he's dangerous. Lighter, lighter, damn it. He cuts off the guy's arm as the guy tries to light it. Keep stabbing. Don't stop. Stupid. Uh, lighter. Does anyone have a damn lighter? 
if you need a fire, there's a big one burning down in my apartment building. And then Nyrus is being pulled away. Come with Auntie, sweetie. It's dangerous here. Let go. Chainsaw Man's my family. And again, she was about to kill somebody for less than this. So much less than this. And is just kind of not using her powers here. Like, again, the scene and the idea of everybody turning on Chainsaw Man, him biting off more than he could chew because he decided to be Chainsaw Man, then people seeing him as, like, a devil, seeing him as trouble, uh, turning on him out of ignorance and fear, and having this scene of him, like, going through all this terrible stuff, but then being attacked by the people that he was protecting, even though, let's face it, Dingy's not really protecting people. That's not really the idea. Again, I think this is good in concept if we had, like, built to it properly, but the story just hasn't... It's like we've got here without the story getting us here. It's just kind of a thing happening, which is something that I complain about happening in stories sometimes, where it's like, something will just kind of happen, and the story will, like, kind of justify it, but we didn't, like, build to it, it just kind of happened, and this is one of those things. And also the Nyata stuff not making sense, where, again, she's used her powers for less, and now something very serious is going on with her pets and with Denji, and she's just not doing anything. That thing is not your family anymore. It just seems stupidly convoluted and we're having this arms out pose of Denji from when uh, he was saying how much he liked her I'm assuming and then it looks like she is now using her powers she's controlling the auntie I'm assuming to grab the spear and then attack this guy run chainsaw man and that's where we end for this volume so um I'm really sorry, I hate being negative for any of my videos. I usually, if I don't like something, I won't do a video on it, but it is difficult to, for, it's, it's difficult for Chainsaw Man, given that I've done videos for like 150 chapters, to just say, okay, now I'm not doing any anymore, because I thought some chapters were bad. Like, it could turn things around and get good again, it's just, man, the decline has been so steep, that it's like, I thought this is a more steep decline than The Promised Neverland. Because for The Promised Neverland, there was a certain character who came back, and when that character came back, everything started falling to shit. But I always kept that copium going. I, always, I was like, you know, things are bad right now, but it could get better. Like, like, or maybe, you know, these chapters are bad, but maybe the next will be good. But it just seems like... It's, it's not just a few specific chapters. It seems like the overall story that's being told has just gone so downhill so quickly that I don't know how the series recovers. Because um, for the past few read-throughs, it's been like, okay, things were good, things were good, things were good. Then maybe like three-ish read-throughs ago, I was like, okay, things are kind of iffy story-wise. I was like, I'm still liking it, I'm still having fun, but things are kind of iffy story-wise. Then by the time we get to, like, last read-through, I'm like, okay, this wasn't very good. This just isn't very good. Um, and I'm like, you know, it's it's weird that it went downhill like this, because it's not very good. And then this chapter, it or this read-through, this section of five chapters, it's like things even took a further nosedive downhill from even last time, and there's more going on, there's more exciting stuff, and I think that if the story had properly built to this stuff, again, in concept, the Barm stuff is really good, in concept, the citizens turning on Chainsaw Man is really good, in concept, him having to choose between using his power or not, or Nayata having to save him, all of that stuff, if properly built to, could be really, really, really good, but it just feels like it feels like part two was going somewhere. We were focusing on Asa. We were telling a good story with the bits we saw of Denji about the struggles of his character and the dilemma that he was in. We were telling a good story of Asa being built up. But then out of nowhere, we say, okay, that story we're building with Asa, forget it. She's going to be off screen. She's going to be famous for no reason. And we're not going to see her for a while. And when we do, she's not going to do anything. So who who cares anyway? Because she's not doing anything. We're going to focus on Denji now instead. And instead of the story that we've been kind of building in the background with him, we're just going to go all over the place. None of it's going to make much logical sense. The world that this is set in is going to kind of fall apart when it comes to how it's been built. And 
here we are at the culmination of that where we haven't seen Asa in a while. The few times we've seen her, she's done nothing. Her story kind of, again, jumped from being built from it took dozens of chapters of being built up. And then it just threw all those dozens of chapters of build up away to be like, OK, we're doing this now instead. And again, we have the world that we built up, the stuff we were building up with Denji, and we spent dozens of chapters building it, plus all of part one building it, and then decided, oh no, never mind, we're throwing all of that away and we're doing this now. And that's what this arc feels like. That's what the past dozen or so chapters feels like. It feels like we were taking everything that we built through part one and the first part of part two and decided, okay, uh, forget that I wrote that, forget that, that we're not doing that anymore, we're doing this now, and this is just not what we were building. This is just things happening, and they're not very good. Uh, so yeah, this is probably one of my most negative videos I've ever had reacting to something, but I really genuinely thought that despite, despite me loving the idea of some of this story-wise, we just, the way we got to it was nonsensical. So yeah, this was a really poor showing for Chainsaw Man. I don't know how it gets better. I don't like being, I don't like shitting on things. I want things to be good and enjoyed by the people that enjoy them. And if other people are still enjoying Chainsaw Man, I want them to enjoy it without me sitting around shitting on it. I don't want to sit around like, complaining about something that I want other people to be able to enjoy on their own when I can instead just go enjoy something else on my own. Um, so I don't know. It, it just feels like I've invested so much into Chainsaw Man now, though. It's like I've invested in so much I don't want to quit. I don't want to give up on it. I don't want to think it can't be better. I don't want to think it can't improve um, and go back to where it was and even better than that, potentially. But... If it's going to continue being not good, I don't want to just sit around and complain about it. So I, I'm at a little bit of an impasse. I want to know what all of you think, what all of you thought about these chapters, my thoughts on them. So talk about it in the comments. I'd love to talk to you all there. Uh, like if you did like the video, comment down there too. Yeah, I just said comment. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want. If you want to link to the Discord server, it's free and open for anyone. If you want to subscribe, please do. There's not just Chainsaw Man, but a ton more on the channel. Talk about how much I love Chainsaw Man and how much Chainsaw Man has fallen in my opinion. I just remembered if you were like my favorite project that I've maybe ever done is my anime awards for 2022 and they have probably gotten less than 100 views but I reviewed 50 anime from 2022 worst to best and I said Chainsaw Man was the best the number one better than Attack on Titan better than uh Ranking of Kings better than all this other stuff better than Summertime Render and now to see <laughs> where Chainsaw Man is for me and it's like what happened what happened um yeah this this was not this was not the funnest time I've well actually I'm not even gonna lie I don't like shitting on things I don't I don't like being negative about things but at the same time I still did have fun reading I had fun just being able to spend time here with you so to speak through the computer screen just reading something I had fun in that sense still um, but yeah, all the like, comment, subscribe stuff out of the way. If you want to support the channel with a super thanks, um, it is appreciated. And if you want to, uh, get One Piece videos a bit early in addition to, like, in addition to supporting the channel and also get your name at the end of every video, then you can do so by hitting join down below or going to patreon.com slash aqua of the tubes or link will be in the description. Thank you to people who are already supporting. Thank you to people who are already patrons and members. Thank you to Chosen Regular Evan Holly, Magical Girls, Efronono, Abyss Knight, JA, and the D Band, Cherryton Students, David Lang, Staff and Folded Ghoul, Slayer Candidates, SG, and Stan Cedar, and Pure Element Paterialo. Thank you all so, so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching, for supporting. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time.